Finding your next warehouse space can be time-consuming and frustrating. In our online course, The Ultimate Warehouse Checklist, we cover all the different components to look for while on your warehouse tour. In this particular video, we'll be covering HVAC. HVAC. That could be so important. What type of HVAC system does this site offer? Is it packaged? Split? RTU rooftop? How about the tonnage? How much tonnage is there? What are the age of the HVAC units? It might be mixed. It might be one unit that's five years old. It might be one unit that's 20 years old. You need to consider that. How about the heating? Is it electric, oil, gas, propane? Each have their advantages and disadvantages. Where is the location of the HVAC systems? Often it's on the roof, can be on the ground, and if it, there is a basement, there could be some systems within the basement. Not typical, but could be. More importantly, is it still covered by warranty and or service contract? Who's paying for that service contract and how much does that cost? That, if it's your responsibility, has to go into your overall cost of occupancy. It's never just the base rent, it's all the other things that go into it. How about ventilation? Is this natural, makeup, or heat recovery? Do you need air conditioning in the warehouse? If so, what percentage of the warehouse is air conditioned? How much office space do you need? Most warehouses offer about 10% office space. That's easy to move up or down. That's easy, easy as typically building in some more walls and dropping in some more air conditioning. But when you're on a site tour, figure out how much of office space that you might need and how much is available in the different sites that you go through, what condition they're in, and how much of it uh, is air conditioned, how old are the air conditioning unit, units. Do you need radiant heat? Something to think about. Get free access to the full online course. Click the link in the description to begin your journey to stress-free CRE. Thanks for watching.